Hey guys, this is Michi. I just wanted to come to you guys really quick. I know I just did a, a video about an hour ago, but um, the hair game has changed. Everybody I know sells hair, some type of hair. You know, Indian hair, Remy hair, they sell hair. And the quality of hair nowadays has changed dramatically from when I was buying hair and extensions years ago. I remember when I started wearing lace wigs, there was only a couple of companies that were available online um, that you could actually buy hair from. I remember buying my first real wig from a salon here in LA. And I paid a, a ridiculous amount of money for that wig. No one knew what lace wigs were. No one knew anything. They just was trying to figure out how these celebrities had this fantastic hair. Hell, how RuPaul had this fantastic hair. And, you know, hair companies started popping up around the world um, when, when, you know, people found out about Chinese vendors. You know, everyone is in the game to make a quick buck. They don't know about quality. They don't know about anything. I get so many messages up from, you know, you know, salon owners and people who are interested in lace wigs and they know nothing about the product that they're selling yet. So they want to sell it to you and don't know nothing about it. I, I It just really gets on my nerves. And even my favorite vendors. The hair quality has went down the down the drain. I think about the wigs that I get now as to oppose the wigs that I got years ago. The ones that I got years ago were way in way better shape. The wig that I have on now is probably about three years old. It's the wig that I used for my um, no tape, no glue method. And I just dyed it. And it's, I mean, it's, it, it's still alive. The wigs that I've gotten recently, they're just a... I don't want to cuss, but they're just a, a fucking mess, okay? That's just it. They're a mess. It's just, it, they're a mess. I mean, I understand that, um, you know, everyone is in the, the game to make money. I understand that. I don't sell hair. I don't, I, I could care less about that kind of stuff. I just, I'm just a person who buys it because I enjoy it. But it makes me want to just wear my regular hair and just say fuck it. I mean, not that I'm embarrassed or ashamed of my own hair. I love my texture. I love my hair. Um, but it's just the fact that I like to do so much. I don't want to destroy my hair. You know, I don't want to be bored. That's the only reason why I don't wear my natural hair. But this whole shit that I got, I mean, it just fucking makes me sick. I mean, you drop so much money on hair. Three, four, five hundred dollars on hair. And it's a fucking mess. And then you, you get these companies that just pop up out of nowhere and say, Oh, I have this Brazilian such and such and such. Um, all it is is Chinese hair with a Brazilian curl on it. No, for how many Brazilians do you? I only knew one company that was based in Brazil or Spain, Nature Girl, and they're not even in business anymore. That's the only hair that I knew that was not from India, China, or any of that. Not that I have anything against Indian hair or Chinese hair, but it just pisses me off. I got all these fucking companies. Oh, um, it's Brazilian, it's this, it's that. Come on. And then we, we just buy it. And then we, you know, we're like, oh, this is that new um, um, Bonesian hair. Huh? You know, it just pisses me off. And then the companies that used to produce fantastic product no longer produce pr fantastic product anymore because their ass is on their shoulders because now there's YouTube. And then there's certain people that go on and they, you know, they talk about the company. So it's like, wow. Now you have hundreds of customers. You can't you, you can't keep up with the man. So don't you think that the quality is going to slip because you're not a company? You're one person working from your house. I mean, come on. It it's just really irritating. And then you spend we me included spend so much money on hair only to get shit. I mean, I, I don't even want to buy it anymore. That's how pissed off I am. I don't even want to. I don't want to support it. I don't want to buy it. It just makes me sick. And I'm and and it, that's another thing too. Like I was like, okay, I want to do something different to my hair. I took out my weave this weekend, and I was like, okay, I want to do something. I want to, you know, have some color, have some spice. So I ordered a wig. The shit is a mess. The shit is a fucking mess. I feel like I wasted money. I, I wasted money. It's a fucking mess. I mean, it's just a mess. It's a mess. And then you expect people to actually spend money on it and wear it? I'm just disgusted. Like, it just it just made me sick. Now, 
I mean, not to knock some companies. Some companies actually give a fuck about what they produce and what they put out there. But most of them don't. I mean, most of them, this is just a way to make a quick buck off the next system by saying, by somebody posting a picture saying, look at these curls, or look at this, or look at that. How about how that shit lasts after you wash it? Or how, how about how, how long it lasts after you've had it in for six weeks? Because the average person like me who can't afford to just drop tens of thousands of dollars on hair every week, you know, keeps our hair in for a while. You guys saw that I had my kinky straight in, I mean, my kinky curly in for damn near four months. So, hmm, that goes to show you. And times is difficult now. Ain't nobody fucking changing their weaves every week. I mean, you may put on a wig every week. I mean, I, I did that, but that's when things were different. You know, you was, I was making a ton of money then. Things have changed. So, hmm. I don't want to fuck all $500 on a bundle of hair or a couple of bundles of hair that's going to mat up in three weeks. And then I look on YouTube and I'm looking for reviews on hair just like you guys. And I'm like, well, how are you actually giving this hair a review and you only had it in two weeks? Or you've only had it in for a week and a half? Or you're not even wearing it. You're just